Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will add fractions with unlike denominators. Adding fractions. Let's add 1 third plus 4 ninths. We have 1 third and 4 ninths. We notice that these fractions have unlike denominators. This fraction has a denominator of 3. This fraction has a denominator of 9. Let's think, can we turn thirds into ninths? We can. We can do that by multiplying. Let's think, 1 third times what will give us a denominator of 9. That way we can have common denominators. We know that 3 times 3 is 9, and what we do to the bottom or the denominator, we must do to the numerator. So let's multiply the numerator by 3. 1 times 3 is 3. Let's take a look at a visual. We have 1 third, and we're multiplying the numerator and denominator by 3, and that gives us 1, 2, 3. 3 out of 9 or 3 ninths. We know that 1 third is equivalent to 3 ninths. And now we have common denominators. So we can say that 1 third is the same thing as 3 ninths. Now both fractions have a denominator of 9. They have common denominators. So now we can add the fractions. We have 3 ninths plus 4 ninths. 3 ninths, 1, 2, 3. 3 plus 4 ninths, 1, 2, 3, 4. We know that 3 plus 4 is 7, and we are working with ninths. So 3 ninths plus 4 ninths is equal to 7 ninths. Let's add 2 fourths plus 1 eighth. We have 1, 2 out of 4, and we are adding 1 out of 8, or 1 eighth. We notice that these fractions have unlike denominators. Let's think, can we convert 2 fourths into eighths so we can have common denominators? We can do that by multiplying. So let's think, 2 fourths times what will give us a denominator of 8 so we can have common denominators. We know that 4 times 2 is 8, and whatever we do to the bottom or the denominator, we must do to the numerator. So let's multiply the numerator by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 2 fourths from here, and we are converting it into eighths. So let's turn this model into eighths. We notice that we have 1, 2, 3, 4 eighths. 2 fourths is the same thing as 4 eighths. So we can take these 2 fourths and write 4 eighths. And now we have common denominators. So now we can add the eighths together. So we have 4 eighths, 1, 2, 3, 4 eighths, plus 1 eighth. 4 plus 1 is 5, and we are working with eighths. So the sum is 5 eighths. <laughs>